It's the future. My parents. My co-workers. My girlfriend. I'll never see any of them again. Yahoo! Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What's that black cracker? A tomato. You're not going to eat a sandwich from a truck stop men's room, are you? Eh, yeah, what's the worst thing that could happen? Ugh, it's like a party in my mouth and everyone's throwing up. Freedom, 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 oi! There's no denying it. The future's crazy. Oh well, don't want to stand out. Freedom, 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 oi! Freedom, 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 oi! Ah! Ah, lordy! Fry! <sighs> Fry! I made you some trail mix for the flight. Also, this picture to remember me. You hold on to it. This junk isn't garbage. I can dig in any random pile and find something great. All right, let's get to work. Fire! Look out! Oh, you almost got neutered. Well, it ain't as bad as getting killed. For me, it is. Fry, did you eat anything unusual recently? No. What about that bathroom egg salad from the truck stop? I've had better. Fender, do you mind? I'm roosting. I'm considering buying a yacht to house my thoroughbreds. How do you expect me to do that without smoking a cigar? Think of the unborn embryo. That's what I'm going to call the yacht. <laughs> Crew, you're working too hard. Tell me about it. For once, I thought it might be nice to do something in a social setting. Finally get to know each other. Why, I don't even know half your names. You boy, what do they call you? Most folks just call me Orange Joe. I didn't want to leave them either, Fry. But what were we supposed to do? Well, usually on the show, someone would come up with a complicated plan, then explain it with a simple analogy. Hmm... If we can reroute engine power through the primary weapons and reconfigure them to Melvar's frequency, that should overload his electroquantum structure. Like putting too much air in a balloon. Of course. It's so simple. It's a genetic abnormality which resulted when you went back in time and performed certain actions which made you your own grandfather. I did do the nasty and the pasty. I'm afraid I don't take much solace in the fact that the implosion trigger functioned perfectly. Ah, <laughs> oh, there, there. If it makes you feel any better, his body was vaporized, so there's no chance of him coming back as a zombie. I'm not worried about that. Then you're a braver woman than I. You remind me of Venus. Would you mind walking me home? Uh, how far is it? I'll miss you, buddy. You've been like a brother and then a sister to me. And now you're getting married. I love you, man. The marriage is a scam. Cool. What's for dinner? Eh, protesting never works. You're right. I'll give it a shot. What do you want? Prize dog! When do you want it? Prize dog! Yay! Yay! Faster! Faster! Oh, everyone you knew or loved in the 20th century is dead. These things happen. Okay, Fry, grab a Kleenex for this one, because there's no God, and your idiotic human ideals are laughable. <laughs> Whew, that's a load off my mind. Ah! A giant sausage! <laughs> oh, God, no! Get out of here, you horrific sausage! Wait, isn't today the parade? It's just a giant balloon! Giant balloon? Hey, you wrote it. It's not working. He's drawing strength from our weapons. Like a balloon and something bad happens. Leela, 
You've got to get me out of here. It's horrible. Eating scraps, letting my waist drop wherever it falls, like an animal in a zoo. Animals go in the corner. The corner? Why didn't I think of that? That's the secret ingredient of slurm? That's the only ingredient of slurm. Ew. <laughs> By current academic standards, you're merely a high school dropout. What? That's not fair. I deserve the same respect any other college dropout gets. By God, I'm going to enroll here at Mars University and drop out all over again. You won't last two weeks. Ah, oh, thanks for believing in me. But seriously, you've got to tell Bender you're moving out. Yeah, but he might get kind of upset. I don't think I can do that to him. Hey, there's my little space heater. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm moving out. <laughs> what? J. Philip I. Fry. I mean, I. Philip J. Fry. Hereby pledge to watch every TV show ever made. <sighs> well, you downloaded Lucy Lou. Are you just going to stare vacantly at her and not say anything? <laughs> We favor unreasonably huge subsidies to the brain slug planet. Okay, but what are the brain slugs who control you going to do for the working man? Attach brain slugs to them. Sure, you say that now. Well, I suppose I could go as high as 300,000. 500. Oh, mercy me. A million. Two. Six. Fourteen. I can see the nice young man really wants those little fish. Nevertheless, I'll bid 23 million. One jillion dollars. <gasps> <gasps> Sir, that's not a number. Oh. oh, my God. I really can read minds. I have a superpower. There must be something great I can do with this. <gasps> Hello, ladies. I can read your thoughts. Say, ow! Oh, ow! <laughs> oh, wait. That's invisibility. Then outrun the blast on this Scooty Puff Jr. Okay, let's go through this once more from the show. No! I could fit if I didn't have these damn arms. Oh! I landed on it and time froze. I tried to fix it once, but then I got mad and hit it some more. I guess it's good we didn't have children. Oh, give me that, you senile old idiot. You know, I think I finally figured out what's behind all these mysterious deaths. Really? Was Planet Express built on an Indian graveyard? No. No? No. <gasps> then, then, it was you! Perhaps 149 is just too old to be a scientist. Yep. No, Professor, don't give up. There were plenty of times in my century when I was going to give up, but I never did. Never. Hey, are you even listening to me? Oh, I give up. Ugh. Why is Zoidberg the only one still alone? Because he's a loser. That's why. He's the lobster equivalent of Fry. Hey, I can get any girl I want any time I want. I'm just too busy. <sighs> Mom, there's so much I need to say. Is it really you? Yes. I've dreamed about you a lot since you disappeared. What did you want to tell me? Oh.